so I want to explain to you how to remember the log leading rule. So now let's talk about the first rule here. We have log x, y. If we have these um, two values of variables being multiplied, so the rule of logarithm says this is going to be log x plus log y. Don't forget they are in the same rule and the same base. The same thing with the second part, log x divided by y. Here, division is going to turn to negative, which is going to be log x minus log y. Now, for the third rule, we have log x to the power of n. So, to the power of n here, that means um, the power is going to come behind the log redeem. So, you're going to have n log x. Now, looking at the fourth rule, we have log 1. You see, there's something about log redeem here. If the base is not given to you, okay, you assume that the base is in base 10. So, now, applying that, here, you're going to have 0. You're going to have 0, just like you having um, 1 equals um, 10. So, 1 is equivalent to 10 to the power of 0 equals to 10 to the power of x. So, your x is going to be 0. So, we have 0. Now, um, applying the rule number 3 to this, when you have log 1 over y, which is the same thing as log y to the power of negative 1. So, moving the 1 behind is going to be negative 1 log y. Yeah, um, also for this, using the same rule for this, then you're going to have what? Negative log 2. So, that is just the application of the fifth rule. Now, for this, you can write this as um, log x, okay, to the power of what? Don't forget that when you have the square root of 2, is the same thing as 2 to the power of half. So here is going to be log x to the power of what? 1 over n, which is the same thing as 1 over n log x. And finally, when you have log a base a is equals to 1. Just like you have log 10 base 10 also equals to 1. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.